This is a wire-free rechargeable HD smart security camera from Kitty Hawk. This review is brought to you by the box and see what's inside. Okay, the first thing we see here is our user guide. And next is the camera. Next is the mounting bracket and the USB wire charger. Let's go ahead and unwrap the mounting bracket and you'll see the screws and the anchors that go into those holes. What features are included with this camera system? The features included are cloud storage, phone viewing, two-way audio, motion sensor, micro SD card and Android iOS compatible, it has data encryption and is battery powered. The first thing to do is to charge the camera. So plug in the USB charger to the port on the camera. You'll see a red light. Once it turns blue, it's ready to go. While the camera charges, we're gonna go ahead and mount the bracket to the wall outside. Our location is on the side of the house that faces a wall. As you can see, we have construction going on in the backyard. So we decide this is a good location for our camera just to keep an eye on our backyard. So let's go ahead and install the camera bracket. This camera system came with four anchors and four screws. You only need three anchors and three screws. So you get an extra anchor and an extra screw. The tools needed to install this mounting bracket are a drill, drill bits, hammer, and a ladder. So let's install the bracket. First thing to do is determine where you're gonna put the bracket. Drill the first hole, and then go ahead and put in the anchor with a hammer. Then next, drill the second hole and do the same, and then do the third hole and do the same. Now you can go ahead and screw in the screws to the bracket mounted to the wall. Now that we're done mounting the bracket, let's check the camera and see if it's fully charged. And it is. Let's take a quick look at the features. Reset button, power button, micro SD slot, USB charging port, and power light indicator. Make sure to secure that plastic cover. This is the lens, status indicator, motion sensor, and microphone. This camera has two antennas, which is nice. And that's where I'll mount the camera in the back. Next thing you want to do is download Cloud Edge from the Play Store or iTunes. You'll need to create an account. Simply put it in your email address and then choose a password. Next is going to say add device and choose battery camera. So next go ahead and power on your camera. Hold the power button down for four or five seconds. Next you're going to set up your Wi-Fi. The camera will already scan for Wi-Fi. Find your Wi-Fi and then go ahead and put in the password. And remember, this camera only runs on the 2.4 GHz channel. However, I have a ruckus wireless access point and it runs both channels at the same time. I did connect this camera with no problems. Now the camera is connected to the wireless router. Next you want to scan the QR code. The QR code will pop up in your app. So place the camera about 5 inches from the QR code. Wait for a few seconds and you'll hear a sound. Now the camera is fully functional. And now we can go ahead and mount it to the wall outside. Let's go ahead and mount the camera to the bracket. The mounting bracket screws into the back of the camera. Easy. Now make sure to adjust your camera left, right, up, or down. You want to focus the camera on the area that's important to you. Make sure the antennas are sticking straight up. Also, if you have a micro SD card, go ahead and insert it now. This is where you'll store your pictures and video. Otherwise, if you don't have a micro SD card, you can sign up for the Cloud Edge storage. They give you a seven day free trial before they charge you. And now we can go ahead and view the camera on the app. Here's the view from the app on our phone. It has great picture quality considering it's a wireless camera. Now the app itself is very detailed. You can have multiple cameras. You can set up the microphone levels. You can set time of day when you want the motion sensor to be on. You can check your battery level from your app. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this app. So have fun with it. Now as far as the review goes, I've set up a lot of cameras. 
Lorex, Reolink, Nest cameras, and Ring doorbells. And comparing the Kitty Hawk camera, it's very good, especially for the price of around $70. The only concerns that I have, you will need a Wi-Fi router that's pretty close to the camera, or a high-end Wi-Fi router with a really strong signal. Another concern is the camera. When you mount it onto the bracket, it's just a screw on. So in theory, it would be pretty easy to steal this camera. I would have liked to see maybe a Allen wrench system where you could lock it in. And lastly, I wish they would have included the micro SD card. Even something like a four gigabyte or eight gigabyte would be nice. However, I do understand they want to sell their cloud storage. What I like about this camera? First, it's very easy to set up. The mounting to the wall was very simple. Setting up the app was easy also and connecting it with a QR code. Kitty Hawk says that the battery will last 90 days when fully charged. Now, I haven't tested the full 90 days, but after seven days, the battery level is at 95%. And lastly, the picture quality is very good. Daytime shots and nighttime shots look great. Well, after considering everything, the good and the bad, I would definitely recommend this camera. For $70, you get a lot of value. There'll be a link in the description where you can buy this product. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free.